So actually, we managed to go live on YouTube, not on Facebook. Um, So for, yeah, we are actually live on YouTube. Um, and I've asked Nicole to rejoin. I think the people here on this, uh, the meeting is just about to start. Uh, and we're just getting, we were trying to go live on Facebook, but today that seems to be a problem. So we are trying to go live on YouTube instead. I don't know if we can share. Okay, I'm trying something. I don't think we can share a YouTube live link on Facebook, but I'm trying that. Okay, so we'll probably have a greater lag. Is uh, Nicole joining, uh, Tejali? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's saying she can see us, but uh, I'm asking her to join the call again. She should be able to join it. Uh, Kirtida, you asked a question on the YouTube link. Did you get that? I've also tried to, okay, I'll just give it to all. So this is the YouTube link. I've also reposted that on our Facebook page. Uh, did you join as an attendee, Nicole? Okay, yeah, I got you, I'll promote you to panelist. Hi. Okay. So sorry, everyone, for the technical challenges. Uh, but I think we are live on YouTube. And uh, I have shared the YouTube live link on Facebook. So hopefully, that also works. Yeah. Uh, let me check which an IR if that's okay. I think there'll be a greater lag, though, between what we say to YouTube, to Facebook. So we'll just have to give time for people to ask questions. Okay, so thank you everyone. Uh, let us get started. Uh, it's taken us a bit longer than we expected. Uh, so let me first start by sharing uh, a little bit of background. Okay, so there is a request to talk in Hindi a little bit more. We'll try. I don't think we had planned for this to be in Hindi. Um, but we will try a little Okay. And uh, sorry, let me just start by sharing. I'll just do this in English, please, Kavita. Um, so I think uh, just a quick uh, synopsis on Patients Engaged. Uh, we are an online platform uh, which believes in informing, engaging, and empowering patients and caregivers. And uh, today's topic we are focusing on is managing neurological conditions during COVID-19 lockdown. 
um, as some of you who have followed us over the years know that we are very focused on holistic management and evidence-based management of chronic conditions uh, from the perspective of patients and family caregivers. Uh, we believe in the value of lived experiences and we've been doing webinars and content, webinars for the last 18 months and content for the last five years. Uh, but ever since we've started on uh, the global, you know, this, this global pandemic of COVID-19 and all the effects of the long lockdown, we are finding that different conditions have uh, unique challenges. And in order to help people address that, uh, we have started this series of managing chronic conditions during lockdown. And today we have with us uh, two uh, experts from uh, PDMDS, Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Society. Who uh, So Nicole is uh, a neurophysiotherapist and the head of uh, therapy and research at PDMDS. And Teja Lee is uh, a clinical psychologist and uh, head of psychology uh, at uh, PDMDS. And she's also a certified uh, creative uh, movement therapy therapist. Um, just for if anybody doesn't know, PDMDS is Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Society. They've been a charitable society since 2001, and they've focused a lot on improving the lives of people with Parkinson's in India. So I think we'll get just for people, um, yeah, quick guideline. Um, you know, if the session is being recorded, and that reminds me, I better set the recording. Uh, I think I missed that out. And if you are logged into Zoom, you can post the questions on the Q&A or the chat. And if you are on Facebook, uh, you can put on the live feed. Um, I am trying to see if we can get the questions from the YouTube feed as well. Um, hopefully we can. Uh, Okay, and uh, uh, yeah, as most of you who are you, you know, long-term users of Zoom know, you can rename yourself. Uh, and also here are the social channels that we follow. Um, so I think I'll quickly get started uh, with the questions. Uh, Nicole, people are at home and their routines are affected uh, quite a lot because of the lockdown. Uh, you know, they can't get their physiotherapist home. Uh, their exercise routines have been affected. So what can they do to, you know, keep fit? Yeah, thank you. I know these are really tough times and uh, an important message is that do not stop your rehabilitation. Uh, even if a therapist is not coming home doesn't mean you need to stop uh, because whatever gains you have made the uh, improvement means it shouldn't go back to what it was originally we want you to maintain whatever improvements you have got um, and there are actually uh, we're very lucky at the time that we're in and um, all you need to work out and do your therapy at home is uh, a bit of creativity, a um, assistance from your therapist. And if you have an internet connection, then you have an unlimited resource uh, to finding exercise programs online. Unfortunately, um, neurological conditions may it may sare conditions hote hai, lakhwa hote hai, Parkinson's hote hai, uh, multiple sclerosis hote hai, uh, spinal cord injury, alag alag stage pe bhi hote hai, symptoms alag hote hai, disabilities bhi alag hote hai. So, uh, aisa one plan fits all, aisa nahi hai. We can't give one uh, therapy plan for everybody. Uh, and that's why it is most important that uh, uh, you ask your therapist for an exercise plan which you can follow. And if there are online resources or exercise sheets or handouts, you can follow them. The most important tip is that you have to fix a scheduled time fix karne hai di, uh, din mein. When someone else is free at home, then I'll start exercising. Then that usually doesn't happen. Uh, so it is important to keep 
um, a fixed time in the day for your exercise to be done. Uh, sometimes it happens that you use therapy time, ke aap, uh, weights use karte hai, ya thera bands use therapy time, weights use therapy Now you can be more creative. You can use water bottles filled with water. Uh, you know, if you have to do squat exercises, you can use school bags filled with books, uh, food cans or tins also. Or it's very easy also to make your own strap weights at home. You just need to fill uh, two pieces of cloth with some uh, grains. and put a velcro strap and you have your own weights at home so there are a lot of things that you can do at home uh the other thing is that if you do require um help during your therapy uh appoint someone in your family to assist you in in the therapy it's also fun when you're exercising with somebody else um uh, set a goal I think, मतलब, it is so important. We don't know how long the lockdown is going to be for. Uh, it's important to set goals for yourself so that you're motivated to exercise uh, every week. Uh, and they can be small goals like walking five hundred steps, uh, or uh, doing ten squats, or uh, you know, doing a certain exercise twenty times. But these are small goals that you should incorporate uh, so that you feel that sense of achievement or motivation. uh all exercise plans should include strength and stability matlab jo aap weights ke sath karte hain aur balance exercises dusra jo hai wo jo stretching hai uh, jo muscles ko elongate karte hain aapke body ko jo stiffness jo hai wo kam ho jate hai usse aur teesra jo hai wo cardio exercises bolte hain jo heart aur lungs ko activate karte hain jaise walking cycling marching jogging आपको कैसे फिट रहना चाहिए हाउ कैन यू स्टे फिट आई गेस ऑल्सो आई कम टू यू तेजाली यू नो विद दिस लॉकडाउन बहुत चिंता हो रही है लोगों को दर लॉट ऑफ एंगजाइटी स्ट्रेस है डिप्रेशन uh, भी है तो आप थोड़ा इसके बारे में बता सकेंगे या श्योर सो एज वी ऑल नो दैट वी आर इन अ लॉकडाउन एंड इट नीड नॉट ओनली अफेक्ट आर फिजिकल हेल्थ बट इट कैन आल्सो हैव अ बिग इम्पैक्ट ऑन आर इमोशनल एंड साइकोलॉजिकल वेल बींग बिकॉज देर आर सम इट जैसे कि जब भी हम लॉकडाउन में हैं हम बहुत लोगों को मिल नहीं पा रहे हैं हमारा बाहर जाके हमारे फ्रेंड्स को मिल नहीं पा रहे हैं या एक जो खुली हवा में जाना है हम हमें पसंद है वो हम नहीं कर पा रहे हैं और इसकी वजह से वी कैन हैव डिफरेंट इमोशनल रिएक्शन ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम सो पहली बात तो ये है कि आपको जो न्यूरोलॉजिकल कंडीशन है उसके साथ आप एक जो आपका खुद का एक फाइट है एंड अलोंग विद दैट नाउ यू आर इन अ लॉकडाउन सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ लिमिटेशन अराउंड यू दैट यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू मीट योर थेरापिस्ट यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू मीट योर फ्रेंड्स और यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू गो आउट and that can bring a lot of anxiety in you that what is going to happen next how i am going to survive in this period this time so pehli baat ye hai ki jo neurological condition can i continue talking yeah yeah sorry yeah go ahead yeah so first of all it is very important for us to understand that this can also ha- have an impact on our psychological well being and what are the different reactions or possible feelings that we can have during this time so jaise aparna ne bataya ki anxiety ek bahut dar dar sa lag sakta hai ye period mein ki ye kab khatam hone wala hai kya mujhe isse asar hone wala hai kya am i am me or my family members are going to get affected by this condition which is in addition to your already pre existing condition and especially the population that we are looking at maybe parkinsons jo ज्यादातर 60 के ऊपर के एज में दिखाई देता है तो बहुत सारे चिंता हो सकती है बहुत सारा स्ट्रेस बढ़ सकता है कि ये कब खत्म होने वाला है या हम इसे जब भी छूटेंगे तो हम ये ऐसे ही हालत में रहेंगे या कुछ बदल होने वाला है उसमें दर्ड ऑफ अनसर्टनटी क्योंकि इसके ऊपर पूरी तरह से अभी तक इलाज अवेलेबल नहीं है या यू कैन ऑल्सो फील इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ नॉट बीन एबल टू यू नो नॉट बीन एबल टू फील सिक्योर इन योर or uh, own surrounding because when you go out or if you just want to you know touch something in your house there's always a fear that am i you know being affected by this particular virus that is covid 19 so and also the lot of whatsapp messages and forwards that we are getting these days 
it can have a big impact on our life because we are constantly thinking about covid 19 and we are, we have kind of shifted our focus from our family from our pre existing condition to a completely new uh, something new which we were not aware of uh, b- before this it right. can also bring a lot of boredom uh, because abhi ye shayad uh, बहुत सारा बोर लग सकता है कि ये बार बार हम उसी फैमिली मेंबर्स को ही मिल रहे हैं शा, शायद सब लोग अपने अपने एक्टिविटीज uh, में या वर्क फ्रॉम होम में बिजी है एंड दैट्स व्हाई द पेशेंट विद न्यूरोलॉजिकल कंडीशन कैन आल्सो फील बोर्ड टू एन एक्सटेंड दैट बोर्ड टू इवन एक्सरसाइज और बोर्ड टू यू नो हैव अ डेली रूटीन लेकिन ये बोर्डम आपकी इन एक्टिविटी को इंक्रीज करेगा और आपके जो फिजिकल और मेंटल स्ट्रेंथ है उसको कम करेगा तो इसके लिए हमें बोर्डन बोर्डम से भी छुटकारा पाना इम्पॉर्टेंट है और यू कैन ऑल्सो फील द लॉस ऑफ कंट्रोल दैट वी आर नॉट बीन एबल टू कंट्रोल दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन एट दिस पॉइंट और वी आर नॉट बीन एबल टू मैनेज आर सिम्टम्स एट द बेस्ट वेन वी आर होम बिकॉज ऑफ सर्टन कंडीशन स्लीप डिस्टर्बेंसेस भी हो सकते हैं जैसे कि बहुत सारा ख्याल हमारा इसी के बारे में चल रहा है कि ये कोविड नाइन्टीन क्या है इसके ऊपर कब आएगा इलाज या इंडिया में कितने लोग या बाहर कितने लोग इससे अफेक्ट हो रहे हैं सो कॉन्स्टेंटली ये जो हमारे तरफ न्यूज आ रहे हैं वी कैन ऑल्सो गेट वेरी ओवर वेम विद दिस ऑल द न्यूज दैट आर गोइंग अराउंड एंड दैट कैन हैव एन एडवर्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन आर स्लीप इधर इन Parkinson's usually people have different sleep disturbances. Like they may not be able to sleep properly, or there might be some sleep disturbances, nightmares. And if you are going through a condition, or you know, if you are constantly thinking about what is going around, it can definitely adverse the sleep disturbances that you may already experiencing. Uh, or there might right. be a feeling of loneliness so these are the possible reactions emotionally that you can experience during this time so it's very important to uh, also focus on our mental and psychological well being uh, along with the physical health right thank you thank you uh, tejali um i i guess before we uh, continue on this uh, a question aaya uh, hai when i get up in the morning i have pain in all joints uh especially in hand finger joints uh, nicole you want to address that question uh, actually wo depend karte hai ki aapko kaun sa takleef hai ki wo matlab sirf arthritis hai aapko parkinsons hai uh, usually actually kya hota hai ki in the morning मतलब आठ घंटा पहले आप सो रहे हैं कुछ एक्सरसाइज नहीं किया दवाई नहीं लिया है तो सुबह ऐसा होता है कि मसल्स थोड़ा टाइट हो जाते हैं तो इफ यू स्टार्ट ऑफ विथ कुछ रेंज ऑफ मोशन एक्सरसाइजेस जैसे हाथ को ऐसा पांच बार करना है रिस्ट को सब सभी जॉइंट से नेक गर्दन से पूरा नीचे तक सब जॉइंट्स को थोड़ा मूव करो तो शायद वो दर्द कम हो जाएगा But so it also it depends uh, a lot on what the pre-existing condition is. Right. But usually, right. just warming up the joint. जो warm up बोलते हैं body को warm up करना क्योंकि अगर सिर्फ सुबह में होते हैं और शाम को और दोपहर को नहीं होते हैं मतलब ये सिर्फ warm up चाहिए सिर्फ warm up से वो शायद ठीक हो जाएगा. Okay. Thanks. Uh, which is the right time to exercise on period or off period? So ideally, the on period. is the right time to exercise because that's when you can give your full potential or you can push your body uh, to exercise more as opposed to your off period okay thank you um one more question i want exercise for slow movement and balancing so i'm assuming the slow movement is is a very uh, 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 no well known symptom of parkinsons and Mm-hmm. Um, we do at the Parkinson Society. We do have a lot of resources uh, to help you with uh, these exercises, and um, you know, with these exercises for, to help with your slow movement, which is called Brady Kinesia. Uh, one thing you can do is boxing, which is something that everyone of our patients really like, or fast and big movements. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, um, handouts, and we have a lot of uh, exercises available, which we are going to be sharing with our group. So you can contact us, and uh, we can definitely help you uh, with those exercises and those uh, movements. So just a quick uh, letting people know that before we end this, we will share a screen with uh, the contact details and uh, uh, you know where 
they will be sharing some of this content. Um, okay, one. Okay, there's a question on diabetes, I think, but I'll let you. Uh, I, I'll. We will be addressing diabetes in the next uh, couple of days. So just watch our page for the announcement on when we are doing a diabetes uh, webinar. We are getting a endocrinologist to talk about that. Um, I think there was also a medical question. Uh, I'll let you decide, uh, Nicole, if you want to take that. Daily, I take Sindopa Plus, uh, six tablets, but from lockdown, doctor has made it four only. Um, so usually if the doctor has uh, reduced it, uh, he's done it for a reason. If you feel that the four tablets are not um, working for you and that you are still not able to go about your daily activities, you need to contact your neurologist again uh, to see what can be done about that. Right. I would just like to add a disclaimer that uh, uh, in case of any queries related to your medicines, please contact your neurologist because they are the best person who would uh, you know, consult for the neuro medicine part of it. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's definitely something that you need to check. I think we're getting a couple of questions on diabetes. Uh, again, reiterating that we will be doing a session on diabetes uh, in the next couple of days. So please join in then. Thank you. Um, okay, so uh, Tejali, uh, I guess you talked of the kinds of, you know, mental health concerns and issues that uh, this lockdown is causing, but what can people do to uh, manage this, uh, manage their emotions? Yeah. So, um, Firstly, I think it is very important to know and identify uh, what kind of emotional reactions or feelings that one might be experiencing during this time. So having the understanding will really help you manage with the symptoms or the condition in a much better way. So if you feel that you are feeling more anxious, I'm just taking an example of Parkinson's because if you feel anxious or if you're really stressed, it can also have an impact on your physical symptoms. Like you might see the increased tremors or more freezing or more speech difficulty. So you need to understand that this might be causing... Uh, but the root cause could be the anxiety or the stress which is building up in your mind so have you know doing some basic things can also help you manage the symptoms uh, when when they arise and when you identify them something about being mindful so not thinking too much about what happened yesterday and how i was much doing much better yesterday and what is really going to happen to me uh, in the next couple of days or a year or a month later I think the best thing is to do is one day at a time. Just focus on your health for today and how you can give your best in, for, in today's day and how you can exercise, how you can keep yourself active and engaged throughout the day. So I think having that focus shift from past to present, having the focus on the present, sorry, past to future, having the focus on your present will really help you during this time. So now not counting the days of the lockdown, it may be 21 days or I don't know how many days more, but just staying focused on today will definitely help us manage our symptoms. You can definitely engage in many different activities uh, using art, dance, something creative, because that will keep you engaged that will lessen the anxiety or the stress that you are going through. That will also improve your eye-hand coordination. It will keep your brain and body both active at the same time. You can also involve your family members in these kind of activities. It could be dance, it could be singing, it could be painting, something that you like doing together. So it can also bring in a lot of more cohesiveness in the uh, family as well. And you can enjoy this time to, to do something more creative. I would suggest to limit your screen time, be it your mobile or your laptop or your TV, apart from the work, because constant screen time is also something that can cause a lot of anxiety and stress because we are constantly exposed to the news about COVID-19 and constant updates is not something very helpful for us during this time because we are not uh, we are not being able to change the com condition completely but maybe staying home is something that we can do then I think we can focus more on what is in our control and we can do what is in our control the best like maintaining hygiene or practicing social distancing so I think if you can just focus on what we can't do at the moment 
but focus more on what we can do still in the lockdown i think that will bring a lot more positive positivity and optimism in ourselves and the people around us um, right thank you thank you um so I'll, I'll just stop sharing there's a few, we'll take a few more questions uh, there was a question on is there any medicine to increase dopamine uh, again i think on medicine please discuss with a neurologist uh, uh, and i think we can repeat that uh, one more time um there's a question on what do you suggest for increase in pain with slower lifting of legs to walk sorry there's increase in pain with slower lifting of legs to walk so unfortunately for, for that i would actually need to assess you to see whether it's an injury to the muscle and that's why every time you lift your leg uh, you're getting the pain or is it pain to the joint issue uh, unfortunately just from this if there is some causing pain if there's been no uh injury if you haven't had a fall or you haven't done something uh like you haven't had a slip or done some exerted yourself um then maybe you can try an ice pack and see if the pain does come down if it does and i would suggest that you do a one on one call with your doctor or your physiotherapist to understand more about Uh, why that pain is occurring because pain is definitely a sign that there is something injured or something which is not right and you need to uh, be careful okay i guess there's a couple of issues about exercising in the morning uh, how to drive out the lethargy in the morning for doing the exercise we tend to procrastinate is is one and the second related question not quite the same but early morning the rigidity in walking is more should one have syndopa on empty stomach for exercising better okay um yes yeah, so that's quite a few questions um yeah. yes syndopa does work better on an empty stomach so if you do take it on an empty stomach uh you will see the effects working better but if you do have nausea while taking it on an empty stomach then uh it's advisable actually to have it with a few a small uh, carb meal like maybe a biscuit or so just to help uh with the nausea um uh, exercising in the morning is uh difficult even for me and you know uh it takes a lot to just jump out of bed and do it but once you do start the exercise know that you will feel better your body will feel looser uh you'll feel more energetic and i can tell you that from personal experience uh as well because getting up in the bed in the morning is quite hard but once you do you will see a difference uh parkinson symptoms themselves they are um uh more in the morning for a lot of people and the reason being is that your last dose is probably the previous night at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock and you have about 8 hours when you're not taking any medication you're not doing any movement uh, and so the body obviously is reacting to that and slowing down uh, the minute you that's why most doctors recommend that you take your first dose as soon as you get up uh, in the morning so that uh, you uh, you know your body the syndopa starts working and your body gets looser and also if you start with a few exercises right from the bed a uh, few rotational exercises that helps to reduce the rigidity uh, in your body okay also um, i think you can uh, make your sure. exercise routine a little more interesting in terms of playing on some music while you're exercising or involving a family member using some props in the house like a ball or a bottle like nicole suggested i think uh, doing exercises all alone is little more boring and lethargic as compared to during doing the exercise along with the family and with the music so you can try that as well right okay it's a good idea and uh, i think there was uh, uh i am not doing any physiotherapy i have difficulty in walking and freeze from time to time i practice brahma vidya for 1 hour every morning since last 5 years okay so i think it's great that you are doing something uh, like brahma vidya and you clearly enjoy it since you've been doing it for so long but i have to scold you because you're not doing uh, <laughs> uh, physiotherapy which is the reason why you do have difficulty walking uh, you know and it's it's quite difficult to start off 
start exercising and to get into a program but once that's why i said once you put it in your schedule and say it's something i have to do like it's like taking a pill or taking medication then it becomes part of your daily routine and i'm sure if you exercise you will see the difference uh, in your body and like tejali said now we're so lucky that we have uh, different ways of exercising and exercising just doesn't mean doing strengthening exercises you can do yoga uh, you can do dance um, you know you can cite, you can have variety in your program uh you can look at online videos and see group exercises that are happening you can exercise to music uh, there are many ways to do things and it doesn't have to be boring uh so if you do know a therapist who you can contact they can actually give you different ways in which uh you can exercise and it is very important that you choose an exercise program that you like because it is something that you have to do lifelong so uh choose something that you enjoy and it doesn't have to be something that's enforced on you realize that you are going to benefit from it um and do it okay uh question for you tejali two two questions on uh, being concerned about isolation so one person says i'm a bit worried about thinking that should i get covid 19 i would be isolated and i can't live alone any specific suggestions another one asks what is isolation for parkinson's patients uh okay so the first question is about thinking about if if i get pack covid 19 and then how i'm going to manage the condition but again i would give you the i i will come back to the suggestion that i gave you that focus on what you can do at the moment is practicing hygiene maintaining hygiene practicing social distancing and also uh, you know uh, maintaining a diary of your symptoms so if you think that any other symptom is get uh, you know is arising please make a note of it and consult with your doctor immediately don't wait for you know for too long for the symptoms to get worsen that is one thing and secondly uh, don't think too much about getting covid 19 if you are in a very safe space and if you are with people who are also practicing social distancing and maintaining hygiene because uh, if you are not going out that, i think the chances of getting this condition is much lesser but if you uh, are fo- are constantly going to think about what if this happens that is actually going to cause a lot more stress in you at the moment so uh, i think that is one of the things that you can do to change your thinking from if i get it to what can i do to not get it so i think practicing the prevention strategies will definitely help you at this particular time right uh, the second question about what what is what is isolation for parkinson's patients tejali can you keep your mic a little further away from your oh sure sure mouth. Yeah. yeah a little bit yeah um what is social distancing for parkinson's no, not so far away <laughs> <laughs> okay sorry is it audible now what is yeah, isolation yeah. what is isolation what? for parkinson's patients i think I, if you are not living in sure. a family yeah. uh, where everybody is healthy and not having any symptom of covid 19 like coughing sneezing fever or all the symptoms that have been given for covid 19 i think you don't need to worry so much about keeping yourself completely isolated within the family but definitely you need to practice social distancing not going out of your house for a couple of more days or months till the further notice given by the government all the health authorities to keep yourself safe right right okay thanks uh, there are two or three questions around breathing so my hu- one person says my husband does breathing exercise early morning helps him a lot uh, somebody asked whether they can continue breathing exercises and a third one says many of the ndd result in breathing disorders do you suggest any specific exercise to avoid congestion um so yes the breathing exercises are very very important uh, not just now more so important now because covid leads uh, in severe cases to respiratory uh, disorders so it's very very important to do your breathing exercises it helps to oxygenate um, uh, the blood and the body and helps to function better there are different types of breathing exercises and you can choose from pranayam to to regular breathing exercises but it's important that when you breathe you have to uh, make sure that your lungs are fully aerated so it's not not just short breaths but they are deep long breaths uh, and there are different ways to do it and any therapist would be able uh, to do it a cardio respiratory therapist in a particular uh, would be able to help you with the different ways to to aerate different parts of your lung 
and also when you exercise you actually breathe along with the exercises and that helps in expanding your rib cage and expanding the lungs as well so exercise is also a way and breathing along with the exercise is also a good way uh, to do both at the same time also breathing exercises will definitely help you manage your anxiety and stress during this time so we would definitely want to encourage more breathing exercises and relaxation techniques during this time right right yeah um and i think it's always good to remember that to focus on exhaling out uh in a long exhaling out is always a good thing for especially for uh, relaxation um somebody says uh since i don't walk now so you know there is body mist stiffness aa gayi hai jisse slow movement ho, ho, hota ho gaya hai so i guess the struggles of going out for walks is kind of the point here um to agar aap bahar nahi chalte ya ghar mein bhi nahi chal rahe lekin agar aap ghar mein bhi nahi chal rahe to bahut sare exercises hain jo aap baith ke kar sakte hain Uh, जैसे चेयर एक्सरसाइजेस चेयर एरोबिक एक्सरसाइजेस है चेयर योगा है बेड uh, पे भी एक्सरसाइज करते हैं अगर आपको आप बाहर वॉक के लिए नहीं जा पाए पा सकते हैं तो आप मार्चिंग भी कर सकते हैं सिटिंग और मार्चिंग ओके तो बहुत सारे ऑप्शंस है एंड यू जस्ट नीड टू टॉक टू योर थेरेपिस्ट और वो आपको बताएंगे लेकिन अगर इफ इट इज जस्ट द वॉक साइकिलिंग भी uh, एक एक्सरसाइज है जो वॉक के इट्स कंपेरेटिव टू द वॉकिंग or marching while sitting also um it's the same thing right okay uh one question is cupping suggested to avoid congestion cupping or coughing cupping cupping so cupping, cupping. Therapy, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, okay so okay there's a cupping therapy and there's cupping which you do so that usually has to be done and it is us- used actually when you have mucus in and you want to uh, loosen it and help it to come out so that's when you usually do it uh, and usually a therapist would advise you if that is required or not uh, if mm. you don't if you're not nebulize if you're not using a nebulizer and then just cupping it may not actually work usually you use a nebulizer uh, to help thin out all the secretions and then you uh, do cupping to uh, and clapping uh, to actually take off the secretions and help you cough it out right So somebody is suggesting whether we do a small breathing or progressive muscle relaxation sequence online right now. Be in the present and spread ideas of what can oh, be yeah. done in a creative way. Hey, Jali is like, <laughs> actually at this uh, progressive muscle relaxation. Can we do this at the end of the session so that sure, everyone can sure, sure, yeah. So you can do that. I'm getting acidity full day. Says somebody, what to do about that? <laughs> so i i think <laughs> i think in this point of time a lot of us are snacking on things that we normally would not have and i think it is in this time that it's important that uh, we eat a nutritious diet we sleep enough uh, we exercise regularly like you know we find time to laugh because all this boosts the immune system uh, as opposed to um, just sitting around watching tv eating junk food you know all that's going to cause acidity if you're anyways prone to it but if it's something that's really bothering you then i think you need to call your gp and see what he has to say right yeah and acidity is also linked to stress and anxiety so you know yeah. it's also important to work on that yeah. um i have parkinsons no other medical issue but i'm continuously losing weight and not gaining weight how can i gain weight my current weight is 38 um so usually sometimes for some people with parkinsons who have swallowing issues uh, that can affect the amount of food they're taking in another thing is dyskinesia which is constant movement of the body and that that can cause them to expend a lot of energy and so they tend to lose a lot more weight uh, also people who are depressed uh, you know apathy they also lose interest in food people who have dental issues Uh, mm-hmm. and also as you age you do uh, their taste buds do change and food doesn't taste as good so one reason could be that maybe you're not taking enough food but if you are because of the tremors the huh, tremors so, can exactly. also add yeah uh, so one option is to take more carbohydrates so that would help you put on weight 
but if you're still losing too much weight it's i think it's important that you need to go and do a blood test to see if there's anything else which is causing the weight loss if none of these reasons are why you have you are taking in less calories uh, so the option is to increase your calories which is with high calorie food like carbohydrates and fats and uh, things like that also you can make some healthy options like if you think that it's difficult for you to eat properly because of the tremors and because the longer times that you are taking to eat food as compared to how you used to do before and that is one of the reasons why people tend to eat little less than what is their body really requires but something like idli or something some finger foods which are easy to eat you can also opt for those things or you can also include the dopamine enhancing foods in your diet like banana or dark chocolate or some dry fruits so you can munch on these healthy snacks as compared to just eating fried and very sweet food but you can definitely consult a dietitian or a nutritionist if this uh, is a persistent problem okay thanks um one question that came is can you pl- please suggest some exercises that my mother can do she's getting sudden pulls in her right leg anything for relief from that not 100% sure so sudden pulls could be like a catch or it could be a jerk uh, so i i'm not really sure which one it is if it's a jerk uh, then if it's not been seen by a neurologist it's something that needs to be seen jerks are just sudden movements uh, but if it's a catch which is coming with where, where the muscle becomes really tight uh or it's going into like a spasm then there are certain stretching exercises that can be done uh which will help to reduce uh reduce the pain due to the stretch okay two questions on sleep one says i feel sleepy full day another one says mujhe raat aajkal raat ko neend nahi aati okay so these are common complaints of sleep uh, in parkinson specifically one could be insomnia where you are not been able to sleep immediately and you are taking very long after you go to bed like up more than an hour to fall asleep and one could be excessive daytime sleepiness or drowsiness so uh, excessive daytime sleepiness could be also a side effect of the medication that you are taking for parkinson's but you need to ensure that if you are sleeping very, you, if you are feeling very sleepy during the day how you can engage yourself and keep yourself active throughout the day having a routine like if afternoon is a time that you feel very sleepy then how you can do either like a mental game like a sudoku or a crossword uh, or you can just read something you can listen to music but do something which is little more engaging uh, and not just watching tv but you can sleep for half an hour or one hour so but if you set that timing if your body clock needs to get adjusted to it because if you sleep a lot during the day again it is going to affect your sleep in the night again you are not going to get sleep in the night and again this is a vicious cycle which will go on and on so i think it is uh, important to break that cycle and uh, follow the sleep setting up a wake up time and sleep time and maintaining it every single day will definitely help you manage your sleep cycle and some relaxation okay. techniques can definitely help you agar aapko raat ko neend nahi aati hai to aap thoda relaxation technique kar sakte hai deep breathing kar sakte hai progressive muscle relaxation kar sakte hai kyunki raat mein bahut baar bahut sare khayalon ki wajah se hame neend nahi aati hai to iske liye aap thoda sa relax karke agar body aur mind dono ko relax karke agar aap letne ke jaate hai to aapko shayad thoda sa farak mehsoos hoga um okay um I think there's a question on what is the link for group physio exercises for Parkinson's, which I presume you will talk about in the wrap up, uh, uh, Nicole. Yes. Uh, what does one do with crouching issues, especially shoulder curling forwards every time while sitting, reading, and bending forward when standing? So I, I think that is very common, not only for people with uh, neurological conditions, but it's. i think for everyone now because we use the computer and the laptop so much that we should right. go forward so one what we need to do is a stretch like this which will stretch the muscles of the front and all stretches you need to maintain at least for 30 seconds and that's when you get an effective stretch just holding for 10 counts is not as effective so one is opening and stretching and in this position deep breathing also would actually help to expand the chest and the other thing that you need to do is strengthen your upper back muscles 
So they call your rhomboids, which are between your shoulder blades, the center of your upper back. And those exercises can be done just doing these type of exercises where you're squeezing your back muscles. Uh, so those are two exercises actually which are effective for the crouching. Uh, but it's also important that during the day to activate and constantly stick your chest up as opposed to sitting this way. Always remember that if your chest is up and your sternum is up, then you're sitting straight. The minute it goes in and down, then you're slouching. So you have to constantly remind yourself because even if you do exercise for half an hour, one hour in the day, but for the remaining 12 hours, you're sitting like this, you know, it, it's not going to help. You need to change the way you sit at all times. Whenever you remember, sit up straight uh, and that should be actually very helpful. Um, okay, so one person's asking, my sister has a curling if of toes, which is very painful. Is there anything she can do? Um, so curling toes actually usually would be something that we call in dystonia, which is an involuntary curling. And, you know, it's very difficult to open it. Uh, so there are uh, different options depending on how bad it is. Doctors do give something called like a Botox injection, which helps to relax the muscle. The other option is to try and stretch it. Uh, or there are orthotic devices which you can use to try and keep the toes um, uh, extended and straight. Okay, thank you. Um, what is a good exercise for soldier jam? Sorry, for soldier. I'm not really aware I, of that term. You're not aware of soldier jam. Okay, somebody's asked. I, mean, I don't know if meant shoulder jam. Could it be shoulder, shoulder jam? jam? Okay, shoulder jam. <laughs> shoulder jam, or like you know, sometimes they call it frozen shoulder or periapsis right. of uh, the shoulder. Uh, so usually in these kind of cases, and it's actually very common in Parkinson's, and a lot of people think it's a shoulder problem, but it's actually Parkinson's, and it's the slowness of movement which has uh, aggravated the shoulder. And uh, there are in the normal progression of peri uh, frozen shoulder, you know, there are stages where it's very painful and then it becomes very stiff. And then suddenly, like, you know, and that's how the normal progression suddenly you see that it improves. And for different stages, so if it is very painful, there are certain exercises and certain uh, modalities that we use to reduce the pain. Right now, since you probably can't go to a clinic uh, just using a full pack or a hot pack uh, would be effective just to reduce the pain or if it is very severe uh, you could possibly take uh, a painkiller uh, but you also need to do a few mobility exercises which will help uh, you know there's something called the wall climbing exercise or you know just rotation of the hand uh, so there are very different movements depending on uh, which which uh, stage you're in and uh, what your pain is like and what is your what is the weakness but it's important that you do exercise to uh, prevent it from worsening. okay thanks uh one question is conch bead helpful for increasing dopam dopamine have you heard of conch conch bead it's i guess some home remedy option <laughs> no that's the first time i've heard it i don't know the no 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 i don't conch i'm beach, not aware no. of it <laughs> one thing like you know you have to be a little careful about mm -hmm. what uh, people sometimes recommend uh, you know unless it is you you do need to cross check it uh, with your doctor uh, before you do take anything because sometimes it can have an adverse reaction on you and uh, you yeah. know we have people taking uh, very different things which sometimes aren't really good for uh, their health and so before you do take anything even if someone says it's just a herbal supplement I mm -hmm. would suggest that um, you do talk to your doctor because there are certain Ayurvedic uh, medications, uh, you know, which uh, do have uh, the levodopa uh, and you shouldn't be taking it along with your allopathic medications because then it's becoming an overdose for you. Uh, so mm -hmm. anything that you're taking, uh, like, you know, you should actually get it cross-checked by your doctor. Okay. I think we will be winding up soon so i think i'm just taking the last couple of questions because we also have to leave time for tejali to do a little exercise uh any suggestion for a sad looking face <laughs> uh, 
uh, I think facial stiffness is also something which is very common in Parkinson's, which is also called as masked face. And because right. of the masked face, there are the, you you could also experience some differences or some problems with your communication because sometimes you are happy inside, but you can't show it on your face, and that's why people don't. people perceive that you are not happy and that's why maybe a sad face but i think doing some facial exercises regularly will definitely help you increase the flexibility of your facial muscles and you can uh, express in a much better way maybe nicole can help you with some facial exercises yeah we do have a lot of different facial yeah. exercises which are quite fun as well and, and you know like if you do have parkinson you can definitely join our groups and uh, we will we will show you what needs to be done and how it should be done uh i guess this is more a I'm not sure if it's a comment or a question using our voice to express our feelings and strengthen the core with the vibrations we create what are your views about that being helpful activity for neurological patients or is it a challenge um i mean so if i could just start off like uh, for anything you need to strengthen your core so if you want your voice to be better and your breathing to be better you need to have a strong core and when we talk about core it means your stomach muscles it means your back uh but basically you need strong abdominals and strong stomach muscles for your voice to come out uh better so i like even probably some of the reverse things so if you're doing your speech therapy exercise where you need a take a big breath and you need to hold it for long that could help with the core but it's it's more important that you strengthen your core and that would improve uh, your voice as well good okay so uh thank you everyone i think we will get ready to wrap up uh, tejali do you want to will it take long for you to run through your exercise uh no no, no just a few minutes we'll do it little quick right Uh, just uh, i'm just attaching my speaker so that the uh, music will be audible to everyone the bluetooth device is connected us successfully okay so we will be practicing a small progressive muscle relaxation technique and in progressive muscle relaxation technique what we usually do is we first contract the muscle and feel the tension in the muscle and then slowly we release it so for example just uh, make a tight fist and experience the tension and the maybe a stiffness in your uh, in your fingers and the palm and then when you breathe out slowly release it completely and why we do this contraction and relaxation because if we start from a neutral uh, line then sometimes it is difficult to relax but when we go to an extreme and contract it is easier for us to relax completely and al also experience the change so i'm going to take you through this relaxation technique where you need to focus on each of the body parts as i'm going to tell you and first contract it as you breathe in and then release it completely as you breathe out so just follow the instructions and if you can keep your eyes closed during this uh, particular relaxation technique it will be much more effective so let's begin sit in a most comfortable position feet on your ground and palms on your thighs take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out now as you breathe in focus your attention to your toes and curl your toes in feel the tension in your toes as you breathe out release the tension in your toes and keep them flat on the ground now bring your attention to your ankles and lift your ankles off the ground a little lift your heels up and feel the tension in your ankle as you breathe out slowly release this tension and keep your heels flat on the ground 
relaxing your ankle as you breathe in focus your attention on your calf muscles and you can take your toes up to feel the tension in your calf muscles and your shin as you breathe out release this tension in your calf muscles and shin and bring them back to the normal position keeping them completely relaxed bring your attention to your knees and your thighs and as you breathe in contract the muscles of your thighs and muscles around your knees and feel the tension tighten them as you breathe out release this tension and relax your muscles completely focus your attention on your hips and your abdomen as you breathe in contract your muscles of your hips and your abdomen tighten them and feel the tension as you breathe out slowly release the tension in your hips and abdomen and relax them completely feel that your lower body is completely relaxed bring your attention to your stomach and pull your belly button in feel the tension around your stomach muscles your core muscles as you breathe out release the tension in your core muscles and relax them completely bring your attention to your chest and your rib cage as you breathe in contract all the muscles around your rib cage and feel the tension feel the heaviness in your chest as you breathe out release all the tension in your chest bringing them back to the normal position and expand your chest focus your attention on your back and your shoulders shrug your shoulders take them up and feel the tension in your shoulders neck and your back push them back and squeeze your shoulders shoulder blades and feel the tension in your back as you breathe out release all the tension in your back and your shoulders bring them back to the normal position take your shoulders down your shoulder blades in normal position and relax each and every muscle of your back starting from the upper back the top of the spine bringing down to lower back now let's focus on our hands our arms make a tight fist and bend your elbows and feel the tension in your arms your wrist your palms your forearms 
as you breathe out extend your elbows and slowly release the tension you are holding in your arms open your fist and let all the tension and the pain go away from your fingertips place your palms on your thighs in the most comfortable position and keep them relaxed completely focus your attention on your facial muscles and squeeze your muscles close your eyes tightly close your lips tightly and feel the tension in your facial muscles as you breathe out release this tension and bring them back to the completely relaxed position don't open your eyes yet just close them not very tightly but very gently if you feel there is any pain or ache or stress that you are holding any any of the body part allow yourself to relax that body part completely as you breathe out and bring your attention back to your breathing take a deep breath in and observe the movement of your stomach and your chest and breathe out one more time take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out breathe out as if you're blowing a candle breathe out from breathe out from your mouth breathe in from your nose and breathe out from your mouth one more time keeping your body completely relaxed take a deep breath in from your nose and breathe out slowly from your mouth breathe in all the positivity the love the support the care the strength and breathe out all the fear the tension the aches and pains the hate the insecurity and all the negative things going around and within you one more time take a deep breath in and breathe in all the positivity around you as you breathe out spread it to everyone around you let this world be full of positive souls the loving souls and just the message that even when we are practicing social distancing we are still together in this spread this message to everyone around you we are distanced but not disconnected and when you feel completely relaxed and you are ready keeping your eyes closed you can slowly rub your palms against each other and gently place them on your eyes and slowly very slowly you can open your eyes thank you thank you tejali uh, i think that was very relaxing uh, thank you i'm sure some people have fallen asleep um i think just a couple of questions uh, nicole there's one question my lower back is aching excessively uh i think we talked already that you can march at home so yes you can and 
uh, exercise for handwriting improvement. Uh, Nicole, you'll have to unmute yourself. Um, so coming to back pain, actually there are many causes of uh, back pain. It could one could just be something simple as uh, improper uh, position whilst you're sleeping or sitting, and especially since now we're sitting for prolonged periods of time. Uh, that could be one of the issues if it's something new. Uh, if you haven't had a fall or if you haven't done a sudden movement and got a catch suddenly, uh, you know, if, if that is one of the issues, then it could be a catch in the back uh, for which you need to uh, see a therapist about it. Um, so those are, but there are certain things if you do have back pain to avoid bending for now, avoid movements which increase the back pain but talk to a therapist who can help you uh, to understand what exactly is the cause of back pain. Uh, for so handwriting, you... yeah. There was one question on handwriting, right? Right. So micrographia is one of the symptoms of Parkinson's where your writing becomes very slow and it, it becomes illegible. Uh, you know, you can't read your uh, writing properly. And it also becomes a problem when you're signing for the banking documents. So writing practice every day is very important. And you can start with getting a book, a, la a ruled book, something like this. So, uh, or, or a book that we used to use in our schools, like pink and blue book. So you start with having a ruled book and write every single day, at least one page uh, and start with writing in capital letters. And then slowly you can progress to small letters because capital letters, you, you can also maintain big letters at the same time. And uh, also practice your signature every single day so that when you have to really sign for your banking documents, it doesn't become a problem at that time. So writing practice is very essential for everyone with Parkinson's. Okay. All right. I think we have overrun quite a bit and I really thank you for your time. Uh, just kind of doing the wrap up. Uh, I think uh, we've covered a lot of ground. Um, so do you want to, we've, I think covered this. Do you want to just go into contacts and how yes, they can yes. reach yes. you? Okay. So, so at the Parkinson Society, uh, you know, we've all had to go online now with all the services that we do. And so um, we are doing a lot of uh, exercises uh, with handouts and videos, which you can access. Uh, we're also doing counseling for those who need it. And all these services are free of cost. All you need to do is, you know, contact us via phone or email or Twitter or any of uh, the following social media uh, links that we have. And we can help uh, people with Parkinson's, you know, with any difficulties that they may have in this uh, period of time. And are you planning to run any group exercises, you know, online, uh, uh, Nicole, over the next few weeks? So we are looking to see how we can get a whole group. We are doing it in small batches, like three or four people uh, at the moment to just teach people first how to use the different apps uh, that we have. But we are looking at uh, doing probably group exercise programs. For now, what we're doing is putting up exercise videos so you can exercise along uh, with the video at home. Uh, but yeah, do contact us because we actually have a lot planned uh, for the coming. April is Parkinson's Awareness Month. And so we have a lot of activities uh, planned uh, for that. Uh, but, you know, our aim is to reach out to people with Parkinson's and their families. And, you know, now telehealth is the way to go. Uh, so we're definitely going to try lots of different strategies and a lot of different things to, you know, get the therapy out to people who need it. Yeah, also I've posted this uh, contact number on the chat window because I think the contact number which is displayed here is not the right contact number for Parkinson Society. So I think there's some error. I have posted on the okay. chat window the right contact number. So please uh, use that contact number if you are, you know, if you are, if you want to contact us. Also, you can follow all these insta you know instagram twitter facebook handle so that uh, you'll get more updates on what are what, what are our plans for the online sessions so stay tuned for okay. all the online sessions yeah right okay um thank you everyone and uh, you know this was a schedule as of yesterday so today we talked about uh, neurological conditions uh, tomorrow we are talking about kidney disease and after that thursday friday we're talking about how to maintain and 
you know, maintain your posture and prevent back pain and neck pain while working from home and also trying to get diabetes on one of the days. Um, so, yeah, and, you know, our, our pages are always active. Uh, you can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, on our website, uh, and uh, we will, if, you know, uh, whatever schedules come up with PDMDS, we are happy to share as well. Um, just quick reminders, if you're going anywhere, confirm your appointments before you go, get e-passes uh, so that you don't get stuck along the way, carry prescriptions, yours, you know, or if you are a caregiver, then the patients. Um, and, you know, some places are giving caregiver passes to persons with disability and for elderly, so check those out. Uh, and I think, yeah, stay calm, stay at home. Uh, ask for help if you're feeling anxious and stressed. There is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of resources available everywhere. Uh, and, you know, we're all working to ensure that people get access to the, uh, to all the right uh, uh, options out there. Uh, and yes, be creative, exercise at home. So I think, thank you everyone. Uh, and I'll stop sharing and thank you. I'll stop